Today we're looking at the Jet KVM, testing the DC power control extension with the mini PC, and enabling remote access by installing Tailscale. So, what is a Jet KVM, and why would you want one for your home lab? A standard KVM switch like this allows you to control multiple computers with a single set of peripherals. An IP KVM like the Jet KVM here extends access through a network. Basically, it allows you to connect with a computer from anywhere with internet access, giving you the same control as if you were physically next to it. IP KVMs aren't new, and many have come to market over the past few years, including Pi KVM, Nano KVM, and the Voyager by Tiny Pilot. So how does the Jet KVM stand out from these? For me personally, the most appealing feature is the price, and secondarily because the software is open source. I backed this on Kickstarter last December. The Jet KVM itself was $69, DC power extension was $15, and I also got the ATX control board extension for $10. To top it off, shipping was $19. I got two of each, so in total I paid $207 for two Jet KVMs and two of each extension. I've been using more open source software in the past few years, and when I can, I try to support projects that I like and find value in. The Jet KVM software was actually closed source when I backed it. However, it was on their roadmap to open it in the future, which they did a few weeks after their campaign ended. So why did I need it? I wanted a way to control the mini PCs that I use to host the majority of my services at home. These live on a rack shelf and they're only plugged into power and networking, so the only way to access them is to plug in a monitor and peripherals. I also wanted an IP KVM as opposed to a software solution so that I could power them on and off remotely. I had an issue in the past where my Proxmox host froze completely, and the only way to restart it was to power cycle it. That's something I couldn't do remotely before I got the Jet KVM. This is the DC power control extension, which allows me to turn my mini PCs on and off remotely. First, I plug in my mini PC's power supply into this end, then connect the included DC to DC cable from the extension to the mini PC itself, and lastly connect the RJ11 cable to the Jet KVM. Controlling power is really simple using the web UI. Just click on the extension button to load the DC power extension, which you only need to do once. After that, you can cycle power on and off from here in the future. Here is a sped up view of my mini PC powering on. And to power it off, just click on the extension button and power off. The Jet KVM doesn't come with Tailscale pre-installed, but their documentation points to a community member's guide on how to get it running. Thanks to Brandon Tuttle for that write-up, which I've linked in the video description. I recommend following his guide, as it's very detailed and he does a great job explaining all of the steps. Essentially, it involves first enabling developer mode, and then SSHing into the Jet KVM, downloading the Tailscale binary, and installing Tailscale. Once Tailscale is installed, we can add it to our Tailnet and access Jet KVM through its new Tailscale IP. And that's the Jet KVM. If you have one, let me know how you're using it in the comments. If you don't have one, let me know what features you think it's missing or how you think it could be improved. Thanks for watching. I'll be uploading more videos on home lab stuff in the future, so subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.